Hi guys and welcome to this series of tutorials about AutoHotKey. If you're not sure what AutoHotKey is, don't worry. This is an introductory video that I'm going to be creating for letting you know more or less what the main features are, what it is about and everything. So, um, first of all, you can just simply go ahead to their webpage, AutoHotKey.com, select the link for download here to get the lastest version. Um, if you don't want to install it, you simply go to the download section here and select the zip file which has all the files that you need for creating compiling and you know in general using auto hotkey um, scripting language so I'm going to assume that you don't have previous knowledge of auto hotkey at all um, but if you do have knowledge about auto hotkey or if you do have knowledge about programming in general I suggest you to check on the more advanced sections that I have because uh, the beginner section I'm just gonna try to introduce people on um, what auto hotkey is and also about general programming practices you know that will help them not only on this particular scripting language but others as well now for creating code if you didn't know again if you're not a programmer um, you just need an editor like for example notepad or wordpad you just simply grab one of the editors and you just simply type the code in there and when you save the file instead of saving it as a text like txt you simply put the extension of the file like the the scripting language that you're going to use so in our case for example if you want to create a new script if you installed auto hotkey you will have the option here on the on the context menu for creating a new auto hotkey script and you will be seeing that the file has an extension of .ahk well you will only be able to see that if you have the option in Windows Explorer to show the extensions but anyways what happens is that as you can see it is not a txt file it is just an ahk but you can open this with notepad so if you go to open with notepad you will be able to just simply take a look at what is inside well the font is quite huge in here so yeah you will be able to see what is inside and as you can see it's just text so again you just open an editor you start writing your code and that's it usually with other languages you will have to have a compiler to compile your code in this particular case for auto hotkey you just right click the the scripting uh, file and select the, the option to compile the script and compiling just means creating an executable file so here are the differences if you didn't install auto hotkey you will not be able to have these options for for running compiling and editing a script here on the context menu if you want to have them you would have to um, edit the registry manually for adding those options I'm not sure if the zip file contains something to, that adds that for you but in any case you would have to do that yourself but, and also you will not be able to simply double click a file um, in here in when you have the auto hotkey installed you just right click on it and select the option to run the script or simply double click the file to run your script so you enter some code you double click the file and you will be able to see what the code does you don't need to have an executable file and that is very cool now if you want to share your script with somebody else and you think that that person does not have a, a auto hotkey or if you know that they don't have it simply compile your script and just simply give them the executable file which of course will run with in any Windows machine so um, this is basically um, how we you know set up download and the basic things that you can do with this installed but let's um, let's see how we can create some code first of all um, we need an editor as I mentioned you can open notepad but in my case I use a different editor for that so let me open my default editor which is notepad plus plus um, notepad plus plus is um, an editor that allows syntax highlighting so if you code if you create um, some code like for example in C, C++ it will give you colors for some keywords and in this particular case I have a syntax highlighter for auto hotkey I just simply go to the auto hotkey um, then the language menu select auto hotkey and when I'm typing keywords commands and you know functions on the auto hotkey language this particular highlighter 
will actually put some colors on it. I'm going to show you that in a few seconds. But to do that, um, you have to download this particular um, highlighter because Notepad++ doesn't come with it integrated. So for that, just go to this particular link, which is in the description. It is the external lexer file for um, Notepad++. Save the zip file. And you just go to your Notepad++ installation file, which is usually in C programs file. And uh, these files that you have inside the zip in here, which are a DLL and a config folder, you just put them here in the plugins directory. So just drag and drop them. In my case, I already have those files in my in my computer, so it's gonna ask me to replace them. In your case, they were just gonna um, get copied there. And when you open Notepad++, you will be able to get something like the following. So let's write some code. So let's save our code. And as I mentioned, and this is what I like about Notepad++, the commands are pretty straightforward. They are just, um, it, even the names of the commands are very easy to understand. So basically, I'm doing a message box text. So what does that mean? Well, I'm just going to create a box which is going to display a message. And the message that I'm going to di display is this part in here, which is text. Simple as that. So let's just run our code. We just double click the file, and there you go. We have a little box. It has an OK button. It has some text. And we wrote our first program in some ways now. So this is how you write code. You just simply type some code in an editor. You save it with the extension .ahk. And depending if you installed AutoHotKey or not, you just simply double click the file. If you didn't install AutoHotKey, you have the option of dragging and dropping this particular script onto, onto the AutoHotKey executable and it will launch the script for you. So again, you don't need to, to, to compile the program to run it. And it is quite simple, right? Now, I'm going to show you two of the main features of AutoHotKey. Basically, as the name says, on hotkey creation in this particular scripting language is very, very easy. So let's say you want to add a hotkey for that particular message box. Well, what you do is that you select the key that you want to put the, um, the hotkey to. So let's say the letter A. Now let's put a number. Well, you can put anything. You can put a number, um, a letter, or even a key like the enter key or the backspace. So you just simply select a key that you want to add the hot key with and then you just put two columns and after the two columns then you put the action that you want to execute. Let, let's do the message bots and there we have. So every time I press the backspace in my keyboard a message box will appear having this particular text. As I mentioned, it is quite simple, it is very easy to understand, and you just have to run the code, 